Hi guys and welcome to my Game Salad tutorial series and today I'm going to show you how to create your own character selection screen and allow you to generate multiple characters within your game. So let's begin. First of all we create two scenes and we name them Pick Character and Level 1. They're just two blank scenes and you can name them what you wish. Next we select Game and create a new variable. For this simple example I will select integer. You will see the new variable is created down below and I will name it who am I. And make sure it's set to zero. This will allow us to define the value later on within the rules. You must create a variable so when creating a rule later on to generate a character, the rule will have a true or false or equal value to work with. It's very straightforward. We now select the scene Pick Character. And then Actors. As you can see, I have created two actors to work with. And I've called them Selection 1 and Selection 2 but these can be anything you want. And I drag them onto the screen. Now I will create the rule so that once this is clicked on, it will select player one. So to begin with, I will select this actor selection one and create a new rule. To begin with, I will select the touch behavior. And this can be found in the behaviors above. But for a shortcut, you can type in touch. And then change it to released. So when this actor is touched or selected and then released, it will execute the rules below. Next, we want to make sure that when this button is pressed, it will change the scene to level 1. So I select level 1. And finally, I want to make sure that when I select this actor here, selection 1, it will change the variable within game who am I to 1 or player 1, which will equal player 1 later on. So I can do this by changing attribute and setting it to game who am I so game dot who am I and set this to one so this simply says when I press this button or when this button is released please change this to scene level one and change the attribute or integer to one Next, I simply copy this rule paste it into selection 2 and change it to 2. So that means when I select player 1 it will change this variable to 1 and when I select player 2 or selection 2 it will change who am I variable to 2. And that's it for this part of this demonstration of how to create a character selection screen. In my next video, I will show you how to link this selection to level one and generate these two actors within the game. I hope this was informative and I hope you watch my next video, which will explain the rest of the process.